Ghani and welcome to the International African Arts Festival Libation Ceremony. Those of you may know that we do this prior to the festival. We want to thank you for joining us and we also want to particularly pay attention to this year's theme which is to breathe, rise for freedom and I'm sure that makes sense to you. So we want to welcome you. Um, this is that's certainly different because of the situation that we find ourselves with so we're virtual in your home or 
on your phone. We thank you for joining us. And I want to introduce my partner who I miss uh, sharing the stage with. Please welcome Sharon Gordon. we do with pouring libation because Baba can you share with folks why a libation is so important um, for the for the old school guys it was simply pouring a little bit on the ground and saying for the guys upstate but <laughs> out of our African tradition it is how we pay respect to our elders to the ancestors that have gone on and most of all to the creator but this year we're also paying special tribute to those frontline workers yes. who have been working through this coronavirus. Uh, my comrades at 1199 SCIU, and in particular, my wife and daughter who are nurses. So we, uh, we want to remember them and the, 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 the commitment and the courage and the caring that they exhibit. So please join us in a moment of silence. Thank you all very much. Well, as, well, we, as come we come out of that moment of silence, Baba, we're, we're going to go straight, straight into Brother, brother Ose Williams, Ose Williams the executive director of, of Asasa Yao, who will be, will be pouring libation for all, for all of our fallen heroes, heroes and our ancestors. ancestors. Take, it, Take away. it away. Greetings, everybody. I'm Kofi Ose Williams, and I'm on Kofi and the Akan tradition. I'm here to pour libation today for this great event, libation. And I want to explain a little bit with the African and African tradition, what libation means, what libation is for, and the spirit of libation. So in Ghana, we have a word that we use called forchiti. And forchiti is, is not just a meaning for libation, but it's a concept of libation. And the word chi means the primal life force that which expresses itself as consciousness. The chi manifests itself as mind. All embodied chi can enter into a zone where the whole of creation flows into one life. So chi is a creative force. And there are formulas by which we set the chi into a state of vibration. And by so doing whatever we ask becomes. You use sound and water because chi is related to both. Both sound and water he's are sources of say. life. So libation pouring he's is simply saying. setting your life force into a state of vibration so it may interweave with other vibrations. Full means to set into a state of vibration. Therefore, fochiti means set your life force into vibration and let it sound so that other forces may hear and heed your, your sound. The direct, you direct your vibration at the cause of all causes, and it will bring you what you want. Vibration is the mother of creation. And that was by Dr. Darte Kumoji. So now I'm going to pour our patient. Ago, ago, ago. Oh, truly, I'm punished, sir. I say, sir. Who now am I, sir? I can't, sir. I say, sir. I be a god, sir. I tempt to me, sir. Oh, sir, I'm a question, sir. Oh, boy, question, sir. I'm not here, sir. Be man, sir. Say who, sir. We tell me, sir, for, sir. Etia, ya, oh, betu, ano. Take me, boy, for, betu, ano. Shengwa, sir. Oh, eh, na kongkonde, ram, boy, sir. Mary, eni. Eh, na dariko, fi berso, anten. O na neso, kra, bere, si, amo. Talk about, boy, talk about, no, so, betu, ano. Oh, na na koni di abine, na na koni di abine, na na koni di abine. Wanda ama. Oh, sir, we better, sir. Sufi, better, sir. Sufi, take me, betu, ano. Sufi, ya, sir. Sufi, ya, sufi. So fair, so tell us that this we have a mouth between all cobras or tears and beers. I used to say, Oh, they could say, Pied as our friend of Safrasa, now Bosro, but we no Piafo. I call on all of our great ancestors. I call on all of the great ancestors of the East. I call on all of the great ancestors from Nana Denizulu, the Chief Bay, Baba Chief Bay, Baba Olatunji. 
all of the great ancestors that play music during this time. I call on all of the great dancers that have came here and spread their, their dance to heal our people. I call on all of the great poets. I call on all of the great masterminds that helped our community. I call on our ancestors today more than any day to protect us, to help us to strive with, with all that we need so we can move in a progressive way. I call on our ancestors today to be here with the full libation, to be here with our families, to help our families to be physically strong, that we don't have to get we, we don't have to get this disease that's going around COVID-19. And we could remove ourselves out of this pandemic. And we could feel the strength and the energy that we need to feel with our people. I call on our on our ancestors to help us to move forward against racial oppression. I call them to for us to feel some of the energy that they have used for so long and for so many years without ever giving up. And I pray that they give us the same energy that they had. I tell you, Madasi, thank you for bringing us here today. Thank you for having us. Thank you for letting us be a part of what you're doing, what you have been doing, and continue to help your children here on this earth. Madasi, I'm gonna move. I can't leave. You took me from my mother and shipped me across the ocean. Chained me and enslaved me. Put this racist system in motion. Whip me and proselytize me until you got my devotion. Cut me by my roots so that I may forever be susceptible to your coercion. I can't relieve. In 1865, you claim emancipation. Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude shall exist within your nation. The same year the Ku Klux Klan was formed in preparation, set me free with no reparations? That's not my idea of liberation. I can't interweave. You told me slavery was gone, but Jim Crow was still alive. Forced segregation did not let me vote until 1965. True freedom withheld whilst the KKK were free to thrive. All men are created equal freedom of speech yet somehow I must shut my mouth to survive I can't achieve you told me I could integrate but you made no space took away Jim Crow and left residential segregation in its place you taught me to hate my own people with the anger that I misplaced black on black crime in the ghetto I call home enemies in your rat race I can't breathe. You suffocate my growth under the guise of constitution. 27% of people double my share, face prosecution. What do you expect from a country that has their prison as a private institution? Yes, slavery looks a bit different now. It is simple evolution. I can't breathe. I surrender to you peacefully. You put your knee in my neck for nine minutes. So now, the streets must speak for me. I can't breathe, they echo, as flames rise from the pain you refuse to see. Demanding justice in a place where equal was never what you intended us to be.
Andre. This is IT Van. Once again, thank you, Live Nation, for having us. We're we'll have a good time and bring you guys some joy to your hearts.
Wow. Oh, oh my word. word. Baba Yeme. We're inside, We're inside of Live Nation. I'm Sharon Gordon. Gordon. Baba Yeme, are you there with, with me? me? Oh, man, absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. What was that? That was, that was, that was beautiful. beautiful. I did leave you for a while when I was with the drone. Uh, 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 you, saw <laughs> you saw that drone, drone right? Wasn't that amazing? Nice, nice. And then nice. people could, see, could the see the beauty of the International, of the International African, African Arts Festival, Arts Festival, Arts Festival in, in that manner. manner. Absolutely, absolutely. And listen, first time seeing it like that. It's a wonderful perspective. It really, it really is. is. Now, 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 remember, now, remember, I just, I just want, want folks to know, Bobby, that we've been having a little, little technical, technical difficulty, difficulty and, we and we just want folks to know, know if, if anybody is telling, telling you they're having, having a problem, problem just ask them to refresh. That we're, we're off, off, we're running, running as, as you can see, see just ask them to refresh. Okay? We're at iaafestival.org and we're also on Facebook at IAA Festival. Please tell your friends and your family and your loved ones just to refresh. But Bob, let's talk about that poem, I Can't Breathe. You know, you know that, that was, was um, um that took that my took breath, away. breath away. You uh, know, that really it, took my should. breath away. As it should. So um, and IET's band, IET's band. band, IET band, band. Oh God. Oh. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And um, well, I know you're going to talk a bit more about that band because they really represent uh, a, a true Pan Caribbean experience yes and um they, they're just wonderful man and we were glad to have them and looking forward to having an experience with them again well you well, know, you know we're, we're looking, looking forward, forward to, to next year, year when we, we celebrate, celebrate our 50th, 50th anniversary 50, 50 years, years of the international, international african, african arts, arts festival so, so one of the things we can, can do, do because you know because people, people say black lives matter, matter but like baba shagun uh dr shabaka or Board here, here likes, to likes to remind us black, 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 black lives matter. matter. Black, black institutions need to matter. And the International right. African Arts Festival is one such institution. And we need you to donate. Please go to our website. Click on, you're on the website already. Just click on the donate button at the top of the screen. If you're on Facebook, come on over to the website. And please donate and uh, keep this organization alive. Baba Yeme, I know that um, you have some folks down there with you, but I'd like us to jump to Dr. Jeffries and uh, then go on over and, and visit some of the folks, some of our favorite folks, those vendors who are the pillars, right? Uh-huh. Absolutely. Listen, there are some that have been with us almost for the 50 years. Baba, and you, well, can we just... Some of the vendors who have been with us for those 50 years, I think one of them is here with us today. Uh -oh. Or has been with us for probably as much, if not the 50, close to. But when we speak to Sister Ellen, which I'm going to jump over to her soon and, and go see what's going on over there in the vendor showcase, we're going to hear from um, the folks over there at Neighborhood Caterers. And I think she's one of those that's been with us for a very long time. Yeah, man. And, and with those long lines. Well, the long lines, and you know something? <laughs> You know, people need to understand that neighborhood caterers, if you want good food at festival, all right, I shouldn't say that because I'm about to get myself in a hole, uh -huh. right? Did you just see me just walk uh -huh. my way right back out of that? This is libation. This is our first live stream. Right. I'm here with Baba Yemi. I'm Sharon Gordon. And Baba, tomorrow's Father's Day. I want to wish you a happy Father's Day. Oh, man, thank you so, so, so very much, sister. I appreciate it, you know. I'm truly okay. blessed still around. And... They don't have a grandfather's day because I got nine grand, but we'll 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 take Father's Day. All righty. <laughs> All righty. So folks, we're gonna catch you real soon. We'll be right back. Uh, we are jumping to our. We're gonna be going into our vendor segment soon. And please just keep it locked right here. This is Libation. I'm here with Baba Yemi. I'm Sharon Gordon. This is Libation 2020. Sharon, see this how we have a few minutes. I really want to go back to the piece around Black Lives Matter and how that connects to festival. You see, because we can have activities in the street, but we have to build institutions that help us to gain and maintain power. Because yes. it's not about being against something. What we are talking about is a fundamental change in this society, and that people have to be prepared to support the institutions We've been around for 50 years, and guess what? Except for a few of the local elected officials whom we were helping to elect and, and to bring about a change in the political 
landscape in Bed-Stuy and in New York City, some of those folks have stepped up and have done what it is that they ought to do in terms of preserving African uh, and Caribbean and African-American culture in the city of New York. And so we want to acknowledge them. But quite frankly, were it not for our craftspeople, because when we say vendor, you know, these aren't folks that are getting stuff from China and coming back to sell to us in our communities. These are craftspeople who uh, spend a year honing their craft, coming out, and for many of them, festival represents one of their biggest opportunities. It's their, I'm sorry, for lack of a better word, it's their Christmas in terms of how they make money. And so we want to acknowledge those vendors, but Absolutely. we also want to say to folks, we need your support. Because if you believe that Black Lives Matter, then be prepared to do something in terms of building and maintaining the institutions. All righty then, there you go. Thank you so much for that, Baba Yeme. Thank you, I think we have, we're gonna come right back to you, Baba Yeme, because I think you're going over to Morocco, but give us a minute. I know you're heading to Morocco, but give us a minute. We yeah. have a little uh, endorsement. This is, uh, Dr. Leonard Jeffries Jr. of New York City College also of the African world, and my name among the Akan in West Africa is Nana Kwekujua Ajman II of the Agogo Stool in Asante. It's always a pleasure to come out and be with African peoples when they're about serious build, uh, building together, serious celebration, serious commemorating. And so that's what they have here. This is the 45th year in Brooklyn. And for me, this is a, one of the greatest of Brooklyn's activity. The festival, Labor Day, is a good jump up. A couple of million people are there. But this is a put down, put down your roots, put down your business, link up, and start to build together. So I know that we're supposed to be um, going to Morocco right now with uh, Baba Yemi, but what I'll do is I'll just jump in. We have a band that has been around performing a special type of music. And Baba Yemi, I, I know that this band uh, holds special value to you because of the nature of this music. Uh, they are a, a, a Grammy-nominated group. Inav Ganawa is a music that is, I would say, akin to, they call it Moroccan blues is what they call it. <laughs> because it really speaks to, but I wish Baba Yemi could just speak a little bit to the work that they have done with folks like Randy Weston and stuff like that. Well, I think you touched on it. We first were introduced to this group uh, through Randy Weston when he brought them to this country. And what is significant about them is that the music of the Ganawan is a spiritual music. So it represents the people, by the way, who were taken from uh, West Africa and Central Africa as slaves or enslaved and taken up to uh, North Africa. And so, of course, over the years, the the, the combination of those two cultures produce this music that we now know as Gnawan. But it is a spiritual, it is a music that keeps you uh, moving. You know, it's literally like being in a Baptist church. When they start to hit and people start to hit the spirit, that's the music. So let's well, Baba, I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait to hear them. I know that it's a healing music. It's a music we need for this time. So here we go. I'm looking forward to hearing them. All right. Thank you. 
want to thank the folks from Enough the Nawa Band for that wonderful, wonderful healing performance. This is Libation 2020 live. I'm Sharon Gordon here with you, and we're just happy that you could join us. Please tell your friends, family, and loved ones to come on over to iaafestival.org or go on to our Facebook page at, Fest IAA, at IAA Festival. Please, please, please go on over, tell a friend, tell your loved ones, tell even people that never ever events like this. Bring them in and let them see what we're doing with this Pan-African event that we have broadcasting today. Now, I wanna tell you something. I'm gonna introduce you to a lady who is, I'm gonna say the backbone of this festival because she works with our vendors. And our vendors, without our vendors, there'd be no International African Arts Festival. And with Father's Day being tomorrow, and we wish you all the fathers, happy Father's Day, we felt that it was important that we gave our vendors an opportunity to speak. And so I'd like to take this time to introduce to you our vendor coordinator, Miss Ellen Lee. Take it away, Ellen. Thank you, Sharon. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, and I'm here with some of our vendors. As most of you know, our vendors, uh, as Sharon just mentioned, are the backbone of the International African Arts Festival. Festival has for nearly 50 years provided a, a, a venue for uh, vendors and artisans from all over the world. And we're very happy and pleased that we have been some of the, to support some of the famous uh, artists um, and vendors that have come out and have become uh, very important in our community. Uh, such as uh, Carol's daughter, uh, Mashoud, and that just to name a few. So some of our vendors, like uh, someone said, have they've been around for almost 50 years. And with that, I'd like to introduce uh, one of the vendors that, that that's probably not, a, ha hasn't been around as long. However, he has given us a tremendous amount of quality and, um, and supplied with 
very original um, pieces. And that person is Nakita. Nakita, I'm not going to try and say your, your last name, but if you can come in and introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you've done mm. uh, <laughs> and you what you much. do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Well, the name is Inketia Brakonyapa. <laughs> Yeah, I, uh, I've always had to deal with that issue, even way back from my own native country, Ghana. So it's you no know, strange and I love to have people pronounce it their own way. And I put a spin mm -hmm. on, you know, just the funny part, the way they kind of <laughs> mispronounce it. It's all good. Uh, yes. yes. In Katia Brakuhiapa, I am a textile designer, textile artist, uh, a technician, uh, fashion institute of technology. Uh, where mm. I schooled uh, and I trained as a textile designer and I, you know, wound up working in the school to, you know, give back sort of supporting the school with the ideas where, you know, how we, we can kind of support their programs. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I've been, I've been, um, I've been doing the International African Arts Festival since uh, 2001 and uh -huh. so yeah. that's <laughs> but that's uh, that's that's pretty that's almost what 20 years yes yes it's been a while I mean yeah. I first got uh, introduced to the festival uh, through a couple of brothers and sisters who used to live in Harlem when I came to the states I uh, was in the states since 1999 uh -huh. and uh, they they told me about you know, brothers and sisters sort of family kind of community festivals, which I thought I, I it was just a group that I have to join and grow with. So, yes. you know, um, I thought I made the right choice regardless of what the challenges were um, uh, to be a part of that organization. And here am I, uh, as I came to the States as a student, uh, studied, you know, textiles and surface design and came out of it worked in the industry and still uh, growing with the International African Arts Festival. Yep. Okay, great. Well, we're very, very happy to have you here. We would like to um, show some of your work, but I know we're not able to, but during the coming weeks, we will have some of your, um, your work, your items on display mm -hmm. on the festival. So again, we thank, thank you. you very much for um, coming and joining us this time. Mm. Okay, thank you so much. So I'm going to, um, we're gonna look forward to seeing you at festival in 2021. Wonderful, yes. wonderful, yes. Okay, thank you so much, we appreciate it. We appreciate okay. you, I appreciate you as well, all right? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Doing the good works and we support as a family. We'll make yes. it strong. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, and we're going to go to uh, neighborhood. Are we going to oh, wait? I'm being told that we're going to. Oh, okay. All right. So we're going. Oh. Okay. All right. So we're. Are we going to introduce Sister B? Yeah. She's next. Okay. All right. Hold I'm out here selling some amazing aromatherapy handmade scented candles. I also have some aura mist and some body oils. All of my products are chemical free and if you're vegan it's excellent because you can also put my candles on your skin because they have no animal byproducts in them. So the influence behind my candles is ancient comedic science. So the ancient chemites believed that through using certain oils and aromas you can heal the mind, the body and the spirit. So I just want to bring those same sciences back to modern day people to heal us holistically. Yes, if people want to contact me, um, they can actually check out my products on ebonessence.net. So that's E B O N E S S E N C E. Right? <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank oh, you very thank much. You. Blessed love, sister. All the support. Okay. You have it. Strength. Right. We appreciate it. Yes. Strength. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. We're here. I also have some We're here with Sister Beatrice Sabia. And Sister Sabia has been with Festival for the last, how many years? 40 years. So we want to um, thank her for coming and joining us. 
Okay. 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 All right. Sister B, we just had a little bit of technical difficulties and we're just pulling it together. Can you hear can you hear them, Sister B? Are you able to hear? Well, that's okay. So um as I mentioned, Sister B is Sister Beatrice Sabir from Neighborhood Bakery. And if you've been to festival, you've seen the, the big orange tent that's on, um, on the walkway. Sister B has been with festival for the last 40 years. You got to go back. Mm -hmm. oh, yes. Yes, mm -hmm. yes ma'am. So tell us, you've been 40 years and tell us what you enjoy about festival. Okay, well, um, actually, I'm just, just going to um, back up in history just for a little bit, but before we actually became a vendor for festival, um, the company, the bakery portion of the company distributed um, or sold the cookies and bread to the East ah. um, with the um, G2 oh, okay. and that group that was there. And then... Um, I think it was Salima that she kept saying, come to festival, come to festival. So my husband kept saying, well, um, how, you know, uh, can you assure me to make money? She mm -hmm. said, yes, just mm -hmm. come. <laughs> so then everything, it, we came and it, it was just um, a remarkable experience, yes. you know, mm -hmm. just to be among the people for, I think when we started, it was like 10 days. Okay. Yes. And we wow. were at our boys and girls high school. Mm -hmm. But, um, you, you know, it was the atmosphere, the blackness of the atmosphere <laughs> was just so great that you didn't really realize that you were working like a slave for <laughs> 10 well, days. 10 days is a long time. I, I'm very happy that we aren't doing 10 days anymore. Uh, you, but you would come, you've been coming back year after year we with that. We haven't missed a year since, no. since we started. We haven't missed. I know people come looking for you and, and whenever there's, okay, I got to go to Mama B's. I got to get to the neighborhood. Well, um, mm -hmm. um, the one, one great, great thing that I've um, heard from festival and people will come up to me and say, well, you know, this is your baby. This is, okay, you got to talk a little loud. Oh, okay. Um, this is your baby, you know, so this is your festival baby. When I, I, when I first came to festival, this is the first place I ate and this is where I was. Mm -hmm. And I try to, uh, with my customers, to give to them what I would like for someone to give to me and to right. treat them the same way. That's right. Once festival is over for me, I start for the very next year. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so um, you know, it's just, to me, it's just, um, it's just part of my life, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, I really, really, truly enjoyed it. And the children, they've grown up into festival as well. And, you know, um, a lot of them has gone on and, you know, do their own thing. But the, why I'm so very proud of being a festival vendor is the fact that out of that, uh, the, the young ones that has worked with me, mm -hmm. um, they have, I have lawyers, I have doctors, I have numerous um, correction officers, policemen, nurses. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just an array of things. And hopefully... When we reach our 50th year, I can have them come back. And oh, that would be awesome. That festival. would be awesome. And they've been very, you know, I have never had anything taken from me at festival. It's just, you know, you're not open to the wild, but you, you know, tie it's, your family. Yes, it's family. It's family. You get that feeling. It's and family. it really yeah. is great. And we do mm -hmm. breakfast. We mm -hmm. started doing breakfast after about five or six years into festival, and we haven't stopped. So, that's it. We're there from like six in the morning until it closes at night. I might mention that Sister B is also on our board of directors and we are, it's a pleasure having her there. She gives her input. She also, from a vendor perspective, helps us, keeps us on, on, um, toes. on our toes so we can make sure that we give our vendors the best quality uh, that we can possibly do. Again, we thank you uh, for being here for us and we enjoy having you. Thank you, Sister B. Okay, pleasure. thank you. I'm gonna send it back to uh, Sister Sharon. Are we, are we sending us? If you got a sweet tooth, come get some of this cake. You see this cake right here? 
You might want some of this cake in your life. I want some carrot cake. I want some chocolate cake. Go ahead. I want some, uh, well, this is the carrot cake, right? I can tell with the coconuts. That's coconut cake. I'm gonna come back for that. Red velvet, I'm coming back for that. You know what I'm saying? This is on the show. This is cool. They got some peach cobbler. You dig what I'm saying? We got something to wash that down with. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Hello. Some mango lemonade. I'm coming back for it. I'm coming. So, all right. Right on. So you got a little food right here. Well, my name is Mashari of Uniquely Wired M, and I'm out here with my people supporting in hopes of they're supporting me and showing them a new style of jewelry that's It's always a great event. We're back in here 2016. Everything Everything is good. We have the great vendors out here. We have the great dancers out here, performers, everything. It's all love. It's all a great, great scenery. Come out of here. Last day. Check the vibe. We got they problems. Got we got problems. Hi, we're back inside of Live Nation Live. I'm Sharon Gordon. And we are doing our first virtual stream. And you know it is not without the challenges. They say that Mercury is in retrograde. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. And so we understand what's oh, going wait. on, right? Whatever can go wrong. <laughs> right, Baba Yemen? Yes, okay. but you know what? Yeah, we will persevere. We will persevere through. We just want to tell folks thanks for logging on to our Facebook page. And for those of you, which is uh, IAA Festival, at IAA Festival uh, on IG. And also come to our website and make a donation at IAAFestival.org. IAA uh, at this time, one of the things I want people to know is that we want you to know that next year we're celebrating 50 years. And for Black Lives to Matter, Black it's institutions like, no, have to matter. And one of the institutions we have is the institution yeah, of dance see, but, in yeah. our community. And Sister Fusha is one of those who has been doing this for many years. And so I want you to get up right now, move the furniture, because she's about to teach you. In this time of COVID and being quarantined, we got to move. We got to get up and move our body. And so Sister Fusha is going to be coming on right now to teach us how to do this. There you go. Um, I was told, though, Baba Yemi, I don't know about you. Uh -huh. I was told that these dance workshops, you don't really need to uh, move too much furniture out of the way because it's a lot of more uh, whining than it is okay. um, jumping. Oh, Lord. Well, listen. Um, that's what I was told, that you didn't have to move a lot of furniture. Don't, so don't I, stop it. I got a house full of whiners here. Oh, my it's Lord. It's you know. It's condemnation. Oh, my Lord. Don't get that started. All right, it's yeah. time this time. Here we go. Bring it on. Go ahead. No, 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 no. Jeez. Well, you know something? As I smile here, smile. I just got to say to folks that one of the things I know about people wanting to get out of the house right now is that they want to move. And I'm really looking forward to moving. Later on, uh, Baba Ye, we, we also have the children's segment coming up. And I hear that we have a puppet show. I hear that we're also going to have um, a trip down to Honduras for the Garifunia folks. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I don't know if you're familiar with the Garifunia folks. I know you are. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. They have been uh, at festival. They've graced the stage there. Uh, several times. Uh, Sharon, I, I just want to just remind folks about the, the theme
for this libation. Oh, please, and, yes. yes. You know, and, and it's so important that, that we remember this during this period. And we're talking about, um, you know, rising because yes. this, this knee on our necks and so on and being able to breathe and being able to move forward. And in moving forward, Sharon, as you said earlier, we really would like to get the donation, but we're not begging folks. What we're right. saying is we're appealing to your commitment, to your yes. consciousness, to yes. your caring. So you've got the information on there, but also listen, those of you who are streaming and sending us information, let us know where you're, where you're plugging in from. Yes, right. Where are you? Yeah, let us know where, where, where you're coming from, all right? And Baba, can I just take this opportunity to say something? A lot of folks are asking whether we're going to be at Commodore Barry Park this year. And we just want folks to know that we're going to be streaming Festival Live this year, very much the way we're streaming Libation Live. So please stay in touch. It's going to be July 3rd, 4th, and 5th. On the 3rd and the 4th, it's from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. And then on Sunday the 5th, it's going to be from 4 to 6 p.m. So we just want folks to know that we are going to be streaming Festival Live this year. It's a new time. It's a new experience. And uh, we're earning our, our, our wings, boy. You know, we're really, we're really earning it over here. And, and Sharon, um, while we have a, a few minutes, too, I, I want to encourage those people who have been a part of the festival, maybe not necessarily working with us, but who have brought their families or, who, or those who were even brought by their parents and who are now in positions that they can give back. We're calling you in particular. You know, those elected officials, um, our city council person there, she has stepped up. Her father used to, yeah, yeah. Laura, Laura yeah. Come, you know, her father used to bring her to festival. Absolutely. And guess what? She now brings her son. And so and that's what that's I love, the legacy. Absolutely. It's a legacy. It's a legacy. And you know, right now, when I look at how the young people are rising up in the streets, Baba, it really speaks to that legacy. And what, what are we sharing and what are we teaching our children? You know, what are they going to grow up to be? Right. But I also want those folks who have been a part of this on the periphery, we take the responsibility because there is a saying in the Bible, you have not because you ask not. Exactly. Well, guess what? We're asking. We're asking we're, those, we're of you who are, those of you who are in positions and who are willing and committed to doing something in our community to help keep this festival alive, we want you to call us, to volunteer. There are a variety of things. We're looking for tech people. Um, we're looking for folks who can help us identify funding. We're asking uh -huh. folks to participate uh, with us in our fundraising efforts. So Absolutely. there's a lot that can be done. Well, you know, Baba, we're going to come back and talk to folks some more about it. But right now, okay. I think Kusha, uh, the dancers are ready for us. Good. <laughs> All right, we're going to throw it over to them. Put on the music. Okay. Yeah. Come, right. you're on. All right. Hi, everyone. I'm going to be sharing with you some of the dance that you are going to see. <laughs> Gonna break it down. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Let's try it on this side. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, let's take the music back. Try it with the music. Here we go. Mr. Worldwide. Hi.
and the inside is moving like that. One, two, three. <laughs> from the Congo, the name of this dance.
Then that easy wall, you break that easy wall down. And a lot of it is in the shoulders. Five, six, seven. <laughs> Alrighty, there you have it. There you have it. So now that you've seen the moves, you've seen the steps, here is a clip that's going to show you how to apply these moves, how this is done in a full dance sequence. Wonderful, Baba Yemi. Did you see that? Did you get oh. your one, Baba Yemi, with the food? Well, hey, I'll do you one better. I saw them, my, my wife and them taking the class. <laughs> yeah, that's what we want, like, baby. That was nice. <laughs> interactive experience, an interactive experience. But let me tell you something, Baba Yemi. Right now, since people are feeling good, we want them to come on over to iaafestival.org and make a donation to the International African Arts Festival as we get ready to move into our 50th year, 50 years of moving through this community and building and working and being an oasis for so many. So Baba, I know you have a few words you want to say to some folks. Absolutely, but for me right now, Sharon, as we move forward, we cannot forget from whence we came. We talk no, about no. 50 years, yeah. but uh, I would be remiss if I did not bring up the name of Baba G2 Wayusi, who was responsible for bringing us all together in order to build this institution. All you right. know, there, there are people out there who are absolutely phenomenal speakers and, and all kinds of things, but there are very few institution builders. And so when you have somebody who could establish an institution that still is functioning today, and we'll move into 50 years next year, that is significant. And it it's really is. And I got to tell you something, Baba. Even from some of the feedback we're getting on the chat room, we have people mm -hmm. from Louisville, Kentucky, and Brooklyn, New York, of course, is in the building. New Jersey, Connecticut, Florida is in the building. All right. Oh, and, and I haven't seen any Oklahoma yet, but I'm still waiting. I'm holding out for some of that. But folks uh -huh. are checking in. And yeah. Baba, I hear that we're going to head down now to Honduras. Okay. Very good. You know, we're heading down to the California folks uh, coming out of Honduras, representing Belize and Guatemala and Nicaragua. But this is the Garifunia International Band. And so please tell your wife and your daughters to just don't move because they're going to have them moving 
probably even more now than yeah, they've worked okay. up from the Pusha yeah. dances. Yeah, they're moving. All righty, well, here we go. The Garrett Fournier International Band. International band teaching and sharing the Garifuna culture right here in New York City. Yes.
Sara da meme boy. Sara da meme boy. Da meme boy. International Band, and that's what we're about here at Libation 2020, the International African Arts Festival Presents. This is our first virtual stream, and I got to tell you, it has been exciting, <laughs> but we continue to bring you wonderful, wonderful clips, and we're sharing music and dance from all over the world. Baba Yemi is still here with us. Baba Yemi? Sharon, listen, two things real quick. One, the Garifuna people are more, we need to put them in a historical context. Those are Maroons. Those are let, people let, who- There fought. we go, let them know who the Garifuna are, Baba. Yeah, I'm letting our people know though, that those are, those are Maroons, those are fighters who continue the tradition and fight through the culture. The second thing is in terms of children, our festival has always been a, a children family or, or children friendly environment. In fact, we've had occasions where parents have gotten lost. We had the children and they came and found them. And it's also a, a place where your children can come and see positive experiences taking place among African people. So it's a wonderful Absolutely. experience. You know, to, to, yes, yes, and I, I agree with you about the children, but even with the Garifuna, in light of what we're dealing with right now, you know, it's uh -huh. about, you know, rise up, breathe, freedom, as we talk about Black Lives Matter, they have been fighting, they have been pushed, they have fought back, and they continue to. And like you said, it's that fighting spirit in us that makes us who we are. And right now, we're going to move into the children's segment because we have to teach our children how to use our culture and use it as a weapon, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. And so, I, I just thought that that was good that you were able to pull those two together, Baba Yemen. Thank you for that. That's why you are who you are. Um, Baba Yemen, now we're going to go into the children's segment. And then when I catch you, I know that the family is still there dancing. Please tell them to keep their dancing, uh, I guess, skirts on because we have the Asasaya dance group that's going to be doing right. a workshop as well. So we just want folks to keep it locked. We're going to go into the Watoto Entertainment uh, presenting their puppet show, again, for the children, get the children ready. And we have a clip of some of um, the younger members of Asasaya doing a, a, a little uh, dance routine for us. And then we're gonna go straight to the Asasaya workshop. So we just want folks to keep it locked, keep it right here. This is Libation 2020. Remember, go donate at iaafestival.org, iaafestival.org. And for those of you logged on, Facebook and Instagram or wherever you're watching us from, we say greetings and welcome. Become a donor to this organization. Yes. 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 <laughs> we got stuff for the kids, you know. Make sure your kids know culture from small, you dig? Once upon a time, Actually, right now, there's a little puppet boy named Kofi and his twin puppet sister named Khadija. Kofi and Khadija lived in a school, but all of the children and teachers were gone, so there was no one to play with them and bring them to life. That is, until one day, actually, today, you decided to use your imagination! Wake up, Kofi! No one's here! Kofi and Khadija came to life and decided to explore the building. And they'll start the adventure. 
adventures of Kofi and Khadija. After running down the hallway, Kofi and Khadija come across a large classroom. Wow, Kofi, let's check out this room. Uh, you go first, Khadija. I don't know. Wow, Kofi, look at all of this. This is wonderful. Come on, let's go play. <laughs> look, come on, you can't catch me. <laughs> I'm going to hide. <laughs> come on, Kofi, come on. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can't find me. Ready or not, here I come. Where are you, Khadija? <laughs> oh! 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 Khadija! I'm sorry, Kofi. You want to play something else? How about we read some books? Hmm. Okay, Kofi. Kofi and Khadija Once got comfortable and they read. And they read, and they read, until Khadija didn't want to read anymore. Come on, Kofi, I'm tired of reading. Let's play outside. Until next time, see you next time. Dance School of Performing Arts. Today we're going to do some simple steps to a rhythm called Group Guru.
my goodness, the Asasaya Youth Workshop. They are probably one of the most exciting groups on the scene today doing African dance, bar none. And I'll put, I'll defend that. And uh, props to, to their executive director too, uh, Brother Ose, who's been working so hard with us. Listen, if you want to experience this virtually again, unfortunately, next uh, in July, the third, the fourth, and the fifth, we're back with the International African Arts Festival, our 49th year, a historic one because it will be virtual. One of the performers who will be with us is a um, young man who, well, he's not young any longer, but he and his brother have been out there for a long time playing incredible music, jazz standards, etc. cetera. Um, so we want you to get a taste of drummer Bernard Harper and his Jelly Posse. Enjoy.
Bernard Harper, Jelly Posse. You know, whenever the, 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 the crew is praising a group, you know that they're bad. And uh, they just, you know, they just blow it away. My wife was here and she can't even tap dance and she was ready. So um, listen, but that was only a taste. So if you want some more, join us July 3rd, 4th, and 5th, a virtual International African Arts Festival, our 49th. We got to do it. We're going to make it do what it do with what we have. We thank you for your patience. Um, one of the things I want to remind you about, as I talked about Baba G2 Wayusi, I also have to mention that the founding of, the, of, of this festival is based upon the Nguzo Saba, the seven principles. And two of them are real present for us. Kuumba, the creativity, and Kuchichagalia, the self-determination, because we have continued this for 49 years. And so we need your support, though. So we want you to donate, 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 OK? Now, we're going to do a, a, a short piece uh, with Sharon and um, her interview with Jackson from the IET band. See why he's two, Jackson two, of IET band? Two greatness, Thank you. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm oh. telling you. <laughs> so you know, to be with Libation one more time, it's, it's an honor, honor, especially in the season of what we're going yes. through, yes. to see our people, it's 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 a vibration. It's it's an honor. It's a respect. It's a greatness. It's a thank you. You know what I, I like that you say it's a thank you because that's what we're doing too. When the whole COVID thing came in and we weren't sure which way to go, and and, and the board and everyone decided that we should do the virtual stream. There were just you guys were already on the bill, right? And I can tell you that we were laughing because we were like, if there's any band that is gonna make this thing hot wow. and bubbling over, it's Jackson, right? Well, well IET yeah. band. And I have to tell you, you guys just constantly bring it. But I think part of the reason, Jackson, I want you to tell this to the folks is it's because of the makeup of the band, right? right. We get a little. Well, you tell them. Well, I, I, get, <laughs> well listen. Um, first of all, the band. Is, is, is a breakout of Haitians, Jamaicans, 
uh, Puerto Ricans and, and, and what our ancestry brought here from Africa. Pan African, I'm telling you. Pan, Pan that's African that bad. Period. And that's why the sound, the sound is, I think it, that's why your sound is what it's it is. It's pure. It's pure. And the, and the music goes where it goes. And, and for us, it's, we, I mean, when the band started, the band started, we all played with celebrities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we played with confined folks and I remember you sound. telling me that like you felt like you couldn't you couldn't be free couldn't to, be to free. play the way you play right, now right right and represent our people yes you know and and, and sometimes they want to polish it up they want to polish bit. it and make it look you know Jackson could you bring that down a little bit please Jackson <laughs> and for me I'm like what's what's interesting and I, I I I started to I became a historian out of nowhere you isn't know? that beautiful and, and it's really because at the deeper I study our people the deeper I realize what freedom is uh, I say, uh, I say. Our, our people the only way we can function is through freedom family his name is Jackson, all right? It's IET Bad. And let me tell you something. I could have this conversation going on with him forever, but what we want you to do is join us for live Asia. Please. All right? Pull up. Listen, Jackson, all I can say is keep doing what you're doing. And it's, it's the freedom you. is, is showing is, yes. on you, all right? Peace and love. Peace and love. Pull up on us. <laughs> live Asia. Live Asia. Sharon, thank you so much for that wonderful interview. It really compliments the band, too. Um, listen, as we bring this to a close, I want to remind people once again that the theme for this virtual libation was breathe and rise for freedom, because that's what this is all about. And we appreciate you being with us on this journey, our first virtual attempt to the entire cast and, and crew you know, that just made this possible a lot of work. To our chairperson, uh, Dr. Segun Shabaka. Hardworking, uh, Segun Shabaka. Hardworking. <laughs> I didn't want to say that part because that's assumed, but anyway. <laughs> but listen, we thank you all so much, and we want to see you back. We're going to work out these kinks, um, and we see you the third, the fourth, and the fifth. Sharon, what you, you know, got? Papa, I want to thank you for being here and for your entire family for logging on with us, and <laughs> for everyone who helped to make this possible. Brother Jose, wow. <laughs> I say Williams don't know what we would do without yes, you. Yes. Paul, Joel, Crystal, the team, Naisha, 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 Urban Relations. I'm telling you, Ellen Lee, Sister Ellen Lee with our vendors, um, Sister Beatrice, and just everyone who has been so instrumental in making this happen, making this libation live. And so we just want to thank you. We'll catch you on the third, the fourth, and the fifth. But right now, Baba Yemi, we want folks to go donate, 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 donate at IAAFestival.org. And right now, Baba Yemi, we're going to close out with the IET band. And I think in light of uh, it being, you know, the, the, the breathe and rise and freedom and in light of it being, you know, the whole protest issues that we see happening around that and everything, I think... IET band's uh, track that they're going to close us out with tonight is just perfect. It says, C'est la vie. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. C'est la vie. It's life. So if you learn anything today, learn. It's life. highs and lows, but through it all we're still here, somebody might have lost their job, tell I be, you're still here, you might be going through a divorce, tell I be, you still got your right mind, and that's the message that we want to spread, that no matter what's going on in your life, you still got life, you still got breath, tell I be.
still see the sunshine. Even in your darkest times, you can still smile. Oh, oh, oh it's called life. It's called life. You've been through some things and you say it's not all right. But you're still breathing.